This, the, the lifespan of this thing is like 10 years. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and so you know what? Your brand, some people love me, some people can't stand me. Why would pe people who know me, what do you think my brand is? Sunshine. Sunshine. What else? Outgoing. Outgoing. What else? Goal oriented. Goal -oriented. Energy. High energy. Vivacious. Problem solver. Vivacious. Oh man, I feel good. This is why I like doing this. <laughs> but what could other people say on the contrary that makes my spam bad? What could they say? Aggressive? Aggressive? Overconfident. Overconfident. Annoying. Annoying. What's that to you? Exhausting. Yeah, exhausting. <laughs> but you know what? My job today is to do this, but our job is also to adapt to who our audience is. So again, it's not you, 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 it's me. I'm not respecting you if I come at you with my same Three percent of the population is a whole brain thinker. Three percent. That's it. That means that they're able to tap in and out of both brains. Now, you're going to take this assessment, whether it's today, tomorrow, have your family members take it, have your coworkers take it, but because you'll know, I can't tell you how many staff meetings are dysfunctional because they're doing right brain activities and they're in the left hemisphere. So when I say the color purple, what do you think of? Creative, what else? Royalty, what else? Movie, what else? Easter, what else? Prince, oh yeah, I love that. We'll be talking about our brand later, but yeah, yeah. But what does purple taste like? Grapes, what else? Wine. I have wine programs too, if anybody is, no, I'm kidding. What else? What is that? Jelly. 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 Oh, that's a good one. Eggplant. See, I'm shifting all of you into the right brain. Now, if you have right brain in your office and you're doing an activity that requires you to come up with a solution, like doing that card game and coming up with a plan, do you think it's right brain or left brain? Left brain. So if I was a good presenter and we had more time, we would be doing like a crossword puzzle or something before we would do that activity. So we would mentally shift you over to the left-hand side. So again, we quickly judge people based on this, that, and the other. Why don't we just make sure that everybody's working out of the right hemisphere or the, or the left hemisphere so that we're coming in at a good place. When we look at it, Deepak Chopra actually said this, four human elements to making good decisions. Emotions, when we make decisions, we need to believe in them. We need to be optimistic that those decisions are gonna have good outcomes. Self, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. How are you going to move it through? The vision, you know, it's the same thing. You can have the best product in the world, but if you don't have a strategic plan, or if you're, if you're launching something, if you don't know how you're going to get it out to market, whatever it is in your, in your world, you need to have a vision. Again, it's that backpack. Where are you taking it? And lastly, the surroundings. Situational leadership, anybody ever heard of that? You know, it, it's the same thing. You know, it might be different, but you draw on the experiences of those who maybe have been there. That's P, people. You're the average of the 10 people you spend the most time with. Who do you need to kick off? Who do you need to add on? My average of 10 changed drastically over the past seven years. It's fine. But again, you have control of that. And so often, we forget that. Often, I'm sitting in your spaces, writing down what I want to share with others, too, not just myself. Because that is a part of growing our generations. It's just not about the here and now. It's what we're leaving behind and living as our legacy. All of you deserve a Lifetime Achievement Award. Arianna Huffington just posted the other day, and I love how certain things come to me at the last minute that I know that I'm supposed to be sharing with you, um, that she said about are you living from your eulogy or are you living from your resume? Wow, right? I got chills just saying that. 
Those are the self-talk things you need to plant in your head and in your heart because there are many things, many people, many situations that are going to rip you away from that. How do I come back stronger and more focused and centered? So, intention and trust is so important. You know, we're so quick to say, I know what the intention is because I just know. <laughs> really? Really? You know, what are we going to do to gain clarity in that? You know, what are we going to do? You know, look, Tyler just threw a ball at me. That's called saboteur. <laughs> no, but seriously, though. But there are things that maybe he meant to do it, maybe he didn't. You know, it's those kind of things that when those things happen in life, we need to stop and look for ways to gain clarity in that, that trust. You know, um, some of you know that I've written a few books. You know, so children's books, you know, there's Tyler's title, Wave Adventure, Dream Big, Shine Bright, Molly's Adventure to the Sunny Side, The Good Life, 5P Philosophy. I, I say this not to brag, but to tell you, all these illustrators didn't charge me a thing. They wanted to be a part of something that was good and well-intentioned and just be something, a part of it. So, you know, it's those lessons in life. Do we always look at what are we going to get paid for? Or are we going to look at what can I learn through the experience? What do you value? You know, and that's a question you just have to ask yourself. But we're so busy in this complex world, often we're not making time to do that. You know, it's launched many people's careers. And, and it also has built many of their confidence in saying, I can do this stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's what it's all about. And so it starts with trust. Everything does begin and end. You know, we judge ourselves not you know, by our intentions and others by their behavior. The late Stephen Covey said that. I mean, keep these things front of mind when these, I call it, monkeys get in your brain. That means they get in there and like, bah, 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 and they start messing up. It's like, stop it, calm the monkeys. You know, cast them out and keep that front of mind. Now, some of you might be thinking, Molly, really? Um, it might be imaginary pen. You're right. There's only one in that baggie that says sabotager. <laughs> oh, I'm so tricky, aren't I? And I'm supposed to be teaching about trust, right? So I am going to let you go. And the first person or first group that has their pack completed like I said, it's going to be in a, in a stack, but it's going to be hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades, two to ace. Got it? Go. All of you have our clut clutters at some point, but I'll tell you right now, we all have a backpack. It's 10 pounds and different clutter gets packed in and there, it's our responsibility to unpack it. And when we unpack it, we're gonna get more clutter that come, tries to come back in, right? So when we're looking at this backpack, just imagine that I have this backpack, we're gonna focus on not the backpack, we're gonna focus on where it's going because that is something that we do have in control. <laughs>